Hello, I'm Mark Harvey from Flannery Plant. Today we'll be covering the pre-start checks on the dual view dumper. Okay, the first check we're going to carry out is the engine oil check. So once the dipstick has been pulled out, wipe the dipstick, replace the dipstick, and as you pull it out again, you will get the correct measurement for the engine oil. Second daily check at this point is coolant level, carried out by looking at the sight gauge. Next check is the air breather element. Just give the rubber grommet a squeeze to ensure no excessive debris is coming out of it. With the bonnet closed, we'll start doing a walk around check. We will check condition of the tyre, condition of the hub, make sure there's no leaks, and looking at the wheel nut indicators. As we walk around the machine, we're looking for any possible oil leaks or signs of oil leaks on the ground. We're looking at the condition of the structure of the chassis, making sure the drive shaft and all the hydraulic connections are all in good condition and secure. As we walk around the machine, check the security of the mud guards and the lights. On this end of the machine, we will be checking the condition of the camera and also the radar detection system. Depending on the environment the machine is going to be working in, always ensure lights are in good condition and working correctly. Number plate is secure and visible and that the machine is not covered in debris. During the walk round, it's important that the operator checks the condition of the cab guard. Ensure that the locating pins are in and secure and the guard itself is in good condition. At this point on the machine, we'll be checking the condition of the steering rams, the hydraulic hoses and connections, ensuring the self-greaser is topped up to the required level. All the hoses are in good condition and we'll also be checking the hydraulic oil level. Always ensure the diesel cap is secure and hasn't been tampered with. As we pass by the cab of the machine, look at the condition of the structure of the cab, the condition of the glass, the security of the mirrors, and as we come round to this side, ensure the camera is clean and defect free. Once the daily checks and walk round checks have been completed, the isolator switch is found under the step where the machine can be activated. Prior to entering the machine, check the condition of the handrails and the steps for security and cleanliness. With the door fully secured back, use three points of contact, climb into the cab. Once in the cab, remove any unnecessary PPE and ensure it is secured and stored correctly within the cab. Adjust the seat to your requirements. Adjust the backrest to ensure your comfort throughout the working day. Fasten the seat belt and adjust the steering column. Once the machine has been started, check that it has sufficient fuel for the shift. With your feet firmly on the, the swivel the seat platform, pull the collar and release the lever. Pull With the both toggle, hands, push the lever down, the grab rails, and let go. And face the direction of travel. Debris cannot get into the swivel mechanism. For the machine running, check the surrounding area for personnel, place the machine in gear and pull forwards. Ensure the machine comes to a controlled stop, put the machine in neutral, put the handbrake on, swivel the seat in the correct manner. Travel in the opposite direction checking the steering. Come to a controlled stop, apply the handbrake, put the machine in neutral and check the skip function. Tip the skip fully.
swivel the skip fully if it's a swivel skip dumper fully to the left fully to the right to ensure correct functions place the skip back to the middle and lower and centralize and ensure the skip is locked Swivel the seat back round and fill in the daily check sheet.